Okay. Okay. So in summary, number one, the course content was interesting. Yes. Definitely. Okay. Number two, I taught you how to apply. So application is important. Yes. Yes. Very important. Yeah. So you know how to apply not just in terms of party, but you also know how to apply in terms of feng shui. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Cross application. Correct. Now, um, other than this, what else did you learn? What else did you notice? Very, very given very good structure and examples because like, I didn't realize that like, Bing and Sing and and Geng and all these combinations is very clear, concise examples that is very easy and simple to understand. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All and the data that I make sense. <laughs> suddenly, everything is like a jigsaw ding, puzzle. Ding, 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 ding. And then suddenly, you go that. Ah, okay. <laughs> like bug moments. Yeah. So, so I was flipping through all the notes and then I was watching your video yesterday and then I realized, ah. That's why this, this is like this. That's why that one's like that. Yeah. Because I go by logic. Yeah. Uh, a long, long time ago, when I first started learning party myself, it was a very frustrating moment for me. Not just because it's in Chinese. And you, you know I'm a yellow banana. So the thing is that because it's in Chinese, I lose a lot of it in, in translation. And the people I was learning from, right, they didn't explain to me the way I'm explaining it to you. They didn't explain to me the way I taught it to you. Mm. Okay. So a lot of the data that I shared with you, right, is um, accumulated from my own experience because I've been in this line for almost 30 years already, right? So it's through observing people. It's through people interacting with you. And then you look at their chart and you go, uh-huh, because you have this and this. So what did you do? And then they start telling their stories and then you can relate it because you can see in the party. Okay. So... I have a question for you. Well, a few questions. Question one, would it be more fulfilling for you to have your, your chart read by someone else or would it be more fulfilling for you to learn it yourself? Learn it yourself. Learn it myself. Yeah. I agree. Because then suddenly you, you understand, ah, no wonder it's like this and like this. No wonder this shit happened. Correct? Yeah. You know better than anyone else. Yeah. You know yourself better than anyone else. Yeah. Correct. Because chat don't lie. Yes? <laughs> Alright? Yeah. No, no, Hijian, I'm not finishing the sentence. Chat don't lie. Okay. So the thing is that when you when you read a chart for someone else, the person can deny. Correct not? No, I'm not bad tempered, and then they bang the table, and then it's like, eh, I rest my case. But how do you show that to someone that they're being bad tempered? Because the drunk will never say they're drunk. Correct? The stupid will never know they're stupid. Correct? So you can't point that out. But when you teach the class, right, and then they, re they see certain things, and then they realize, oh, right, that's how I fuck up <laughs> big time. Correct? Huh? So chat don't lie. Can we agree on that? Yes. yes. Yeah. Because you must remember this, huh? When chat don't lie, it is correct about your past. Correct? You, yes. You've gone through day one. You have seen it. You see how certain formations come into play and how certain things happen. So chat don't lie. Mm. So if the chat is correct about your past, can we also agree that the chat is correct about your future? Yes. So can we say that this is missing? Uh, superstition. No, it's mm. not. Oh, no, no. Not mm. at all. So, can what would you say if someone comes up to you and says, "What astrology is full of crap"? What would you say? How would you answer? <laughs> or oh, astrology is for the uneducated. No, not at all. <laughs> if it's uh, done it uh, in correct way. Mm. It's not like that. Correct. Um, I used to get a lot of people coming up to me and arguing with me that astrology is housewife rubbish. 
Okay. Um, I have only one thing to say. Meg, have you had durians before? No. <laughs> no. Have you seen durians? You know what it looks like? Yeah, i seen it, but I didn't have eat it. Smelt it? No. <laughs> okay. So, can you sell it? Uh, maybe, but uh, I'm not sure I would be sell it okay. Yeah, exactly. So, you can't sell durians if you've never tasted durians. Right? Yeah. So, how can you decide if something is good or rubbish or bad if you've never learned the subject? Yeah, I know. Yeah. So if someone comes up to you and they say, astrology is rubbish, party is rubbish, feng shui is rubbish, don't have your confidence then. It's a very simple solution. You just ask them, have you studied it? If you haven't studied it, what qualifies you to make that statement? Right? And then don't get into an argument with them. Just, okay? But I'm glad you're all enjoying the class because uh, this is just the basic still, okay? There's a lot more about astrology. There's a lot more about party and feng shui. So hopefully in the days ahead, as you join me for more classes, then we all learn more. Lah.